I want to make sure that y'all understand you are just picking one to two very simple shapes. So as you can see in this one, my daughter and I chose triangle heart, triangle heart, and then we put another triangle within the triangle to give it um, a little, to make it a little bit more interesting looking. On this one, it's just rectangles, you guys. There's just three rectangles going horizontally and three rectangles going vertically. And then I just alternated the color. So the shape is the same, but the direction that the shape is facing changes and it just alternates throughout the entire design. And then that's how it looks when it's on the shoe. This is the one that you see during this video. Again, it's sort of that, um, that triangle with a triangle inside of it and then a circle with a line going through it. This is my son's design. He's fourth grade. All right, so just pick, again, we're just picking two shapes. You can choose a square, a triangle. You can do a triangle laying on its side. You could do a circle. You could do a star. You could do a circle with a triangle inside of it, like the YouTube logo. Um, be careful because um, the YouTube logo is copyrighted. So keep that in mind. It's probably not a good idea to take a copyrighted uh, design. But if you did wanna do the circle with a triangle, you could change it and have the triangle going in a different direction. Let's see, there are rectangles. There are, um, there's a lot more complicated designs. I mean, um, shapes, there's a rhombus, trapezoid. I would like you to keep it simple though. Something that you can easily repeat. Um, and then there's a the heart. So anything that you can repeat, there's an oval. Um, there was a student that used two ovals and made music notes with it. So uh, whatever you choose, you're just going to choose two two shapes. Let's do the, let's try the music notes because that's pretty fun. And I could repeat that pretty easily. And how about we just do a circle? So the circle needs to stay the same size and so does the music note. So I'm choosing a very simple way to create my music note. I've got two ovals and then almost like a square shape over them. And then I've got a rectangle on top and then I'm putting a circle in there. So my circle is going to continue here. I'm trying to make my circle the exact same size every time, just like I'm trying to keep the music note the exact same size each time I draw it. I'm paying attention to the negative space that's the space around, behind the shape. So I'm paying attention to where in the square I'm putting those ovals, how high up I go inside of the square in relation to those ovals, and what I'm able to do where it won't take me a ton of time. So one, three, and five are all the same, and two and four are the same. Two and four start out with the circle. Row one, three, and five start out with the music note. So as you can see, they alternate. There is an odd number of squares on top. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which forces your design 
to continue down into row two, again, alternating. So it's still music note, circle, music note, circle, music note, circle, as it is on top. And that's what you want, okay? I don't really want you guys having the same shapes all the way down unless you're alternating them with a direction. Maybe the direction changes, okay? So go ahead and choose your two shapes, draw them in here, pay very close attention to the size, make sure it is consistent. And as you go, as you get closer to the bottom, you are going to think about one way that you could change the shape to make it a little bit more interesting. So with the, for example, with the triangle, we added a smaller triangle inside of it. With a circle, he added a line through it. Okay, so maybe for this circle, I'm going to make it a smiley face because I love music. Okay, music cheers me up. So each circle will now become a smiley face. As tempting as it is to have different kinds of smiley faces, I want you just to stick with one. Okay, we're really trying to keep this simple so that we can be consistent. If we throw too many different kinds of smiley faces into the design, it starts to become a little too random and it becomes more challenging to keep everything um, constant. After you've changed your, and you wanna go all the way down to the bottom, okay? I'm stopping here because I, I'm using a paper that I already started. The third step is choosing your colors. You're going to pick between two to three colors to be your color swatches for your design. In this piece, my color swatches are the light blue, the turquoise, the yellow, and the black. I don't know for sure if I was working for Vans, if black would be a color we would incorporate, but I do like how it looks um, in this um, piece of artwork as an outline. And I may want to incorporate it even though it would not print uh, with the actual black outline. I do like the black. It creates a kind of a cool um, contrast to the yellow. So for example, I'm going to choose, I think a dark blue for the music notes. I know music notes are probably generally um, black, but I'm the designer. So I decide that I want them to be dark blue instead. So the music notes are going to be dark blue and dark blue's complementary color is orange. So I'm thinking that I might make the smiley faces orange or a really uh, a yellow that's really close to orange okay i really like this yellow and even though it is yellow let's see here this is ooh, you know it this is called spanish orange i see it as a very um bright and cheerful yellow, but it's according to Prisma colors, it's an orange and it is a complementary color of my blue. So I'm gonna do that for all of my smileys. And um, when you're all done with, with step three, go ahead and click upload it, take a picture and click the green checkbox.